Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're returning and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Rachel and I'm a reseller on sites like eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. Today I'm doing a 90 day update on a box I ordered from Helpsy Source a few months ago. This was the Everlane Men's Tops box. So if you wanna see what sold for me, how much money I made on this box, and if I would buy another one, definitely stick around. So I know that Helpsy Source, since I ordered this box, has stopped offering the men's separated from the women's boxes. Now it's like all in one, or at least the last time I checked. Um, but I wanted to still update you so you can get a feel for what's selling for me. If you ordered this box, definitely comment down below. Let me know if you have had similar results or what you think of this box in general. I will also link my original unboxing down below if you wanna watch my initial reaction to what came in this box. And if you like reseller content, certainly consider subscribing to my channel. Anytime I open a new box here, I come back 90 days later and give you the results, the good, the bad, the ugly, based on my actual results of it after it's been listed for 90 days, what actually sold, what actually made money. And if you could hit that like button, that really does help out the channel a lot as well. So this box I purchased in September, I had everything listed by October and it was a 40 piece box. I paid $320 for it and uh, that put my cost of goods at $8 per piece. I've actually sold almost everything. I only have four items that are still listed. And so there was one that I didn't end up listing. I think uh, if I remember correctly, this one had a stain on it or something and it was just a t-shirt. So I didn't list it, but I listed 39 out of the 40 items and I have sold 35 of the 40 items. So there's only four remaining. This box had a lot of similar styles and a lot of basics like t-shirts. So I'm not gonna go through every single item on this video today, um, just for the sake of time and to keep it interesting. But I'm going to show you all the items that sold for $20 or more. So just know that my average sales price on this box was $21.62. The lowest item selling for $8, and well, you'll see what the highest item sold for but the, the average being $21. So I'm gonna start with everything that sold um, $20 and up, which is 15 items. And then I'll show you the couple I have left. At the very end, I will go over my actual results and based on what sold and, and how much money I made, I would let you know if I would recommend or if I would buy this box again based on how I did. So starting with the $20 sale, this was the Slim Fit Japanese Oxford. It was white, size small, new with tag. Size small is not my best seller in men's clothing by any means. It's, it's, it's a harder size to sell. Um, but this one, it sold after just about five weeks. It was a $20 a Poshmark sale. The, ne the next one is the classic cotton flannel shirt. It says this sold in a bundle. For the life of me, I can't find a screenshot for this, but it sold in my birthday sale, so $26.55. It had been listed about a month. Um, the next two sold in, I, I'm pretty sure these sold in a bundle together. They're the same shirt in the same size in two different colors, and I have the same amount allocated for each one. So they both sold on the same day, $27.50 for each one. Um, they were the cotton flannel shirt. One was the color time. It was like a green. The other one was navy blue. They were both size medium. They both sold within just before that 90 day mark. It was like day 87. Then there was the linen camp shirt. And I was convinced this was a women's shirt. And then when I looked it up, I realized it was a men's shirt. Um, but it was a short sleeve button down black linen shirt, size extra large. This one only took a month to sell, not even, a little short of a month, but it was a $30 Poshmark sale. To sell linen in November, fantastic. So no complaints there. Here's another one of the brushed flannel shirts in navy blue. This one sold in about two months on Poshmark for $30. I only had one of these. It was the Performance Polo, which actually these retail pretty high. The color was navy blue, the size was large, and this was uh, two and a half months it took 
Sold for $31.24. This was also a bundle sale. Um, I'm not sure what the other piece was in that bundle. It probably was not Everlane. Um, but $31.24 is what this item earned out of the total of that bundle. Next up was a Mercari sale. This was a linen short sleeve t-shirt or not a t this was a linen striped short sleeve shirt. This one was actually new without tag. It sold in only three days on Mercari for $33. Then there was the Slim Fit Japanese Oxford in light blue, size large. This one sold in just under two weeks on Poshmark for $34. I had the linen standard fit shirt in black, size medium. This one sold in about two and a half weeks and it was a $35 Poshmark sale. This was actually a women's shirt. Um, it was the Silky Cotton Relax shirt in blue, size eight. Um, these Silky Cotton shirts, now that I've had a few Everlane tops boxes, both men's and women's, the ones labeled as Silky Cotton sell very fast and they actually resale very well. So just like the barrel pants are my favorite from the bottoms boxes, the silky cotton shirts are definitely my favorite from the tops boxes. Um, this one sold in Poshmark for $40. Um, actually, this one took, wow, about six weeks to sell, which is kind of surprising, but I got $40 for it, so I'm not complaining that it took a little longer. Then there was the cotton jacket shirt, jacket shirt, literally that's what it was called. This was also a women's piece. It was a size extra small, and it was kind of, it was like a shacket. It was a very heavy weight button down. And this one was a $40 Poshmark sale. This one took two and a half months to sell. It sold right before Christmas. So um, I was probably being a little bit generous with what I accepted. I'm usually pretty generous, but you know, I was trying to get in as many sales as I could before the end of the year. So that considering I only paid $8 per piece for this box, that was a totally decent sale. Here's another brushed flannel shirt in navy. Um, this one sold, actually, technically this one sold on January 10th, so it was about 90 days, but I only relisted it after I sold the first one because I had the exact same color and size. Um, this one list was sold on Poshmark for $40, so it really kind of sold quickly after the other one sold because I only list one at a time. All right, number two, second highest seller, the heavyweight overshirt in heathered green. This was a size small, and this one took about 90 days to sell to. It didn't sell till January, um, but it was a $42 Poshmark sale. The highest selling item in this box was a white Oxford shirt. It was a size medium tall, so I don't know if it's because it was like a tall size or like an odd size, um, but it did sell on Poshmark after only a week for $45. So this one sold high and it sold quick. Um, so those are the highest sellers out of the box. Most of the higher sellers sold on Poshmark except for that one Mercari sale. So that's very interesting. Almost all of the lower sellers though sold on eBay or Mercari. So that's a very interesting uh, observation here on this box. So. I do find that the basics, they do sell still pretty well, just not on Poshmark. eBay and Mercari has a lower shipping rate for lighter items like t-shirts. So it doesn't surprise me that that's where those items sold versus Poshmark where it's almost $8 for the, for the, the buyer if they're making an outright purchase. So very interesting on that. Um, there were four items that I do still have and they're super basic, nothing to write home about. Nothing that I think is going to make or break this box if they don't sell. Um, I've got organic cotton uniform t-shirt in black, the premium weight crew neck t-shirt in black. There's another organic cotton uniform shirt in navy blue and the blue striped linen shirt, which is a men's small. And I got one of these in that boutique by the box, Everlane box. So I feel like there's a saturation issue with this style. I, I really don't think it's going to move anytime quickly. So that's the update on this one. To recap, I paid $320 for this box. And my profit as of right now 
is $623, which means I have made about $300 in profit. So was this a good box? Actually, I'm going to say, yeah, it, it was. Um, there were some higher selling items. There were some lower selling items, but the bottom line is it's all sold. I am not sitting on a bunch of stuff and I was able to double my money in 90 days, which is what I'm aiming to do with a box of new with tag stuff or stuff that I paid a little bit more for. So I wouldn't necessarily pay $8 a piece for this stuff for basics like t-shirts, but I would for some of the more substantial pieces like the shackets and the flannels. And this is exactly what I want. I want things to even out. And uh, so yeah, I would say this is a good box. If I could get this same assortment at this same price point, yeah, I absolutely would order another one. Um, I know they're not offering the, specifically the men's tops anymore, but um, I will be on the lookout for more Everlane boxes for sure from Helpsy Source. So if you want to buy a, a box from Helpsy Source, whether it's the Everlane or one of their secondhand boxes, I do have a link down below for 10% off. If you're shopping on the site anyway, you might as well take 10% off. So, or you can use code oh yeah when you check out. Just type it in, it'll take 10% off your order. Or like I said, it's linked down below. Um, I'm going to go check the website right now to see if I can find any more Everlane because I am really happy with how this turned out. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. If you ordered this same box, did you have similar results or are you still working to sell through some of your Everlane men's tops? Um, are you surprised by any of the pieces that sold or didn't sell? I'm definitely interested to hear your thoughts below. Consider subscribing. Like I said, I, I do have some more 90 day updates coming up. I'm excited to start sharing more strategy type videos with you guys. So I'd love to have you in a future video. And if you could hit the like button on the way out, that certainly helps out the channel too. And it lets me know you like this kind of content and that I should be making more of it. That is it for today, friends. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.